Hey everybody, so this is Paul Smith's sawmill. So what comes into our log yard is from the student harvesting activities, uh, summer productions class, and timber harvesting class. They'll come into the mill, students will grade and scale the logs. From there, they'll come in, be placed on the live deck that feeds into the sawmill. That hydraulically brings the logs into the carriage, okay, this being the carriage. The carriage's responsibility is to clamp the log, orientate the log to the blade, and move that log back and forth, taking off first the slab, and then corresponding boards, turn the can, take off the slab, boards again, turn the can, slab, boards, and the last thing would be slab, and then final sawing to the determined product, whether it's a two by six or a six by six. The components of the mill, so we have the operator's booth. You sit in the booth, it's somewhat soundproof, all hand and foot controls and finger controls. We've got the blade. This is a 52 inch blade, okay, powered by a 150 horse electric motor. There's an off feed table that brings the slabs and the lumber down to this green chain. Of course, this one's red, it's number two. And in the booth, we can select a stop position with an air valve. We can stop the board that needs to be edged, it will be then brought 90 degrees up to the edger. Or we can let the slab come down and be stopped at the end of number two. So we're This stop comes up, these spiral conveyor screws are going to bring that slab over to the slab table to then be broken down with the slab saw for either campfire wood or the chipper. Or if it's a finished product, a 1x6, a 2x8, a 6x6 can, you can leave this wide open and it comes right down to this green chain to then either go through the trim saw or just to go out the door as finished product. This is the edger. The edger's responsibility is to take a board that has either weighing on the sides or a defect and trim it to the desired width. We can adjust the width back and forth. You can adjust the thickness of the board, four quarter, eight quarter, five quarter, meaning one inch, two inch, or three inch thick products. We've got laser lights. Okay. Those will be cast down on to the board to give you an idea where the two blades are. We also have a fence. If the board's got one straight edge and one weighty edge, we would adjust the fence to zero, which is correspondent to the edge of the first blade that doesn't move. Or if we want to, say, take a one by two off the side and make it into uh, a one by eight into a one by six, we can set that for two inches, run it through, and it'll break that down accordingly. The control panel here, this is where we lock out, we may turn off or turn on the equipment. We've got a main disconnect. We've got individual stations labeled with corresponding numbers out on the machines. So we'll go over lock out and tag out separately, but for example, the edger and the outfeed table would be number one. That powers it up. Then we hit a start and stop switch. Red is stop, start is black, fire the machine. We're in the sawing booth here at Paul Smith's College, and uh, what we're looking at right now is the carriage, which is the unit that holds the log and uh, brings that log through the sawmill, repeatedly, repeated passes until we make the products that we want. So, how this works is we've got controls that are electronic over hydraulic or electronic 
that move the carriage back and forth with hydraulics, moves the log up to the carriage on the log deck with hydraulics. We've got motor controls that will bring the carriage back and forth, okay? All push buttons and levers. So our left hand here controls the sawmill, okay? If we push that forward, it's gonna bring the carriage back. If we pull it back, it's gonna move the carriage forward through the saw blade. Our right hand control forward and back is gonna be our log turner that's gonna move up and down. And left and right is gonna be the actual drive chain that turns the log. Okay. We've got thumb controls. So for our dogs, we can go in and out. And we can go up and down which those are what clamps the log into place when we're milling it. We've also got on the carriage the ability to move it forward and back so we can pre-select a dimension on our sawing scale. Okay, just get back so we can see it. So roughly we're at 17 inches from the knees of the carriage, or excuse me, the head blocks of the carriage to the blade. Okay, if we want to take lumber off, we have to calculate the thickness of the blade, the kerf of the saw, which is approximately a quarter of an inch. So we want to take a one inch board, we would bring it down to 15 and three quarters, roughly there. Okay. Make the pass, we would, we would end up with a quarter inch of sawdust and a one inch board. Right. We also have on the carriage taper sets, there's four head blocks. Okay. If we bring a log in that has taper, the small end usually is smaller than the, the uh, base of the tree. We could actually bring the knees forward, or the head blocks again, forward and back, one inch or two inch at a time, individually. All the way down the line, which lets us saw parallel to the center of the log. Now we've got some controls in here to start things up. So we've got our blower system, which we have to have running to remove the sawdust or else it'll build up and cause a problem. We've also got the roll case. If there's a problem, we're able to stop that immediately from inside the booth. And uh, the head saw motor, that has a two speed startup. So it starts at a higher voltage, less amps. And when it reaches a certain RPM, it will kick over in this electric panel over here and it'll drop the number of volts and, um, so that the motor isn't burned up at startup.